Oh my goodness. Wait until you hear this story. What I sold these for, absolutely crazy. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, we are gonna jump into 21 Big Money Bolos. These are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or more. If you would like to see items that I sold for $35 or less, those are my bread and butter videos. Um, typically, I source really cheap, so I am gonna tell you where I got the item, what I paid for it, and what it sold for, and we're just gonna dig right in and get started. All right, so. The first item here is this lot of vintage Fisher Price little people. And I actually sourced this at a YouTube auction from Auctions for You. It was in a mystery toy box that I purchased. And I ended up lotting all of these together. Could I have sold them individually? Probably. It probably would have been more long tail, taken longer to sell. I decided to lot these up and I ended up selling these for $59.20 and the buyer was all in for $72.93. This was a $100 mystery toy box that these came out of. So I made more than half my money back with just this item. Um, check out the full video of everything I got on this channel. It's an unboxing and I pop up screen shares of how I listed everything. So I do keep those unboxings educational. All right, this one, oh my goodness. Wait until you hear this story. What I sold these for, absolutely crazy. When I picked them up, did I know? Nope, absolutely no clue. I just thought they were super cute and weird and weird sells guys. These are from Annoying Orange. I can't remember if somebody said it was a TV show or what it was, but I certainly had never heard of it. So they are Annoying Orange Mini Kitchen Crew figures, apple, orange, lemon, and pear. Lot of four toys. You see that price? $93.75. And that is what it sold for. I did have it on sale and the buyer paid shipping. So they were all in for $106.12. These are tiny these are just little mini figures, you guys. Is that crazy or what? So these are most definitely a bolo. If you ever see these, definitely pick them up. And really, they sold pretty quickly. I feel like I priced them on the higher end of comps and super thrilled with this uh, bolo for sure. The next item I sold is this close to my heart. They are clear acrylic stamps. And I got these at a... Oh, the annoying orange or the annoying, yeah, those little characters. I paid 75 cents for those at a garage sale. Sorry, I don't think I said that. All right, so these stamps I got at a garage sale. I paid $3 for the whole box of them. This is what they look like. I don't know. I feel like when I see them, typically at garage sales, they are individually priced and they're kind of priced high. I don't know what these retail for, but um, this was the whole set for three bucks. So I definitely jumped on that. I had uh, two boxes, one box sold quicker than the other box. And I think, I think I sold them both. I think I, I, maybe I still have one left. I can't remember. I want to say I sold both of them, but I ended up taking a best offer of $50 on this and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came out of a mystery box. And if you guys watch my channel, you know, I'm not a huge fan of breakables, but I wanted to keep these three guys together. So uh, they're what about five, five inches tall and they're kind of wide. So they were kind of tricky to ship because they were awkward, but I got the job done and I didn't hear anything back. So they must have made it safely, but I just had to list these. I thought they were pretty cool. And vintage Halloween has a tendency to do pretty well. I sold these for $55. The buyer was all in for $75.85. Um, could I have held out for more? Yeah. If I would have waited until Halloween, maybe, but I was happy with that. I got them out of a mystery box from a thrift store and typically my cost of goods is pretty low for those items. So I'm guessing I had $5 or less in those. So I was happy with the $55 offer. This is a dollhouse miniature wood sideboard table. Uh, the brand is, uh, Smith, Smith, Oh, I can't say it. Smith, Sinon 
Oh. <laughs> I just, it's right here, guys. I'm, I'm underlining it with my arrow. Cannot say that word. Um, got it at an estate sale for $10. I did pay up for this dollhouse furniture. It was in new condition. I know it says used, but the box was open and I cannot say for sure if it was ever taken out of the box and displayed and just put back nicely. So I marked it pre-owned to be safe, but, um, bought a whole bunch of, uh, dollhouse furniture at an estate sale I have pretty much sold out of it. I may have a few pieces left. It was a great score. Um, it was the last day, so I was able to negotiate a little bit, but I still paid 10 for this. Sold it for $40 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. This crayon, I don't know why, but I just knew he was going to sell for nice money. Um, I could not find another one like it. It is a green crayon exclusively for Benny Smith. And I ended up selling this for $37 plus shipping, which I think is pretty fantastic for a plush. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. All right. These came from the Goodwill bins. I saw these and I snagged them up as quick as I could. I knew as soon as I saw them that they are a bolo. Vintage magic math machine. Um, multiplication and division. So what you do is you, uh, I think I have a picture of it where I show, maybe I didn't. You push down on the key and it shows you um, the answer. Hmm, I thought I showed it, but I guess I didn't. Um, these sell really good. They are from 1993 and this sold very quickly. I sold this for $37.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, just love this one. Again, I knew this one was going to sell for decent money. Look at the little feet. They're like little uh, rabbits on the feet. How cute is that? I got this at a garage sale for $1 and I sold this for $52.50 and the buyer paid shipping. This one is World of Smile Bunny Easter Rabbit and it's from 1988 and it's got on this little quilted outfit. If you don't know what quilted means, let me try to get you a close up. You see how um, it has the thread through um, the fabric that is called quilted and that is what the tag looks like there for you. The next item is this silver plate flatware. Um, I was at a garage sale. I picked this up for five bucks, all of it, kind of hoping that there was going to be sterling in there that they missed. I figured for five bucks, I would take a chance. And, you know, I was like, what do I do with this now? And I decided to list it. And you want to know something? It sold super fast. I did not clean it. I left it as is, as seen. Um, there were I, I thought about uh, doing it in uh, like this was going to be a separate listing and then this one and then this and this. And I then decided I don't want to create four listings. I'm just going to put it all together. So that's why you see the separate photos. Um, I ended up selling this for $42. The buyer was all in for $63.39. So can you sell flatware that is not, not in, it's tarnished. It needs cleaned. Yes, you can. And some of this was cut through even all the way to the point where if you polish it, it's not going to clean up. Just put clear pictures. The next item are these Harley Davidson rain, rain pants. I picked these up for five bucks at a garage sale and I sold these for $51 plus shipping. All right. This is a vintage 1998 Rose Barbie doll collector edition number one or first edition in series I uh, got this at a garage sale for three bucks and I sold her for $41.24. She was a little bit long tail. Some of these Barbies do take longer to sell. I, I price on the high end of comps for my Barbies and I offer international shipping. I feel like a lot of my Barbies go internationally. This is a Mary Inglebright flag. If you don't know about Mary Inglebright, get to know that brand because most of her items are at the very least a great bread and butter item, but some of them can go for big money. This flag ended up selling for $37. The buyer was all in for $46.75. This next item, I ended up paying up for this and I should have held out for more. Um, if I remember correctly, I did not have the original box for this. And it's four foot tall, but I got this at a thrift store and I paid 10 bucks for it. I ended up selling it for $36.50 and the buyer was all in for $47.75. And um, 
when I listed it, I did not realize that the adapter had a defect. All right, another breakable. Ah, okay. So I did not want to list these. I put it off and put it off and put it off because I hate shipping stuff like this. But when I saw these at this garage sale, I was like, these are beautiful. And if I drank out of glasses on a regular basis, I probably would have kept them because I just think they're awesome. But anyway, um, I usually drink out of water bottles, so I really don't have much use for this. But they are, um, I would consider these mid-century modern. And I sold these for $127.75. How fantastic is that? I don't even remember what I paid for them. Uh, it was probably under $10 for sure. And those came from a garage sale. The next item, I saw this at the thrift store and I just had a feeling that it was going to be a bolo. Um, I know that some Zelda items can do really well, some of the games. So when I saw this guy, I was like, ooh, and he was only $1.75. So I paid $1.75 for him and he sold for $55 plus shipping. The next is this vintage shop with me talking cash register. And this is the second one that I have sold. I got this out of a mystery box and I sold it for $40 plus shipping. The next item here is this faux leather dollhouse couch and sofa. How stinking cute is that? Um, new old stock. And I got this at a thrift store for $9 and I sold it for $66.60 plus shipping. The next item here is this Disney catalog, Witch Snow White adult costume. It is an XXL and it did have a issue with the seam, but I got this at the Goodwill. It was with the costumes. I walked in and I could not believe that this was sitting there. It was amazing. Um, the Disney catalog and this plush head was massive. This thing was huge, you guys. I'm, I kid you not. It was massive. It was so heavy. Um, I want to say this went internationally, but don't quote me on that. Um, let's see. I don't, I did not write down what I paid for it, which I typically put that under the custom SKU so that I know for my videos, but I didn't. I'm so sorry. Um, I don't think it was that much, maybe 10 or $15. And I ended up taking a best offer of 140 plus shipping on that. All right, this is from that video. I was at the thrift store and it says jackpot and I was digging through all of this plush at a thrift store. And this little uh, Stife horse, I saw the little tag on its ear and I'm like, oh my goodness. Now I will tell you, I looked on eBay and I was not real impressed with the comps. And this was one of them where I went over to Worth Point and I saw some that were listed and had sold higher. So what I decided to do was price this high based on what I saw on Worth Point, and it sold pretty quickly for $74 plus shipping. If I would have went by eBay comps and active listings, I would have sold it for less. So that is where Worth Point pays off for me is when I do that additional research, when I feel like I, either I'm unsure or I just feel like it could be more valuable than what I'm seeing. And Worth Point has made me so much money just by giving me knowledge and information. Um, I do have a video that says, is Worth Point worth it? And I show you some other scenarios or situations in which it, Worth Point has helped me make more money. Is Worth Point pricey? I think it's a little bit pricey. Um, and the prices did just go up. I think when I signed up, I paid $200 for the year. I am one of those people that will pay for the year to get my monthly costs down. So instead of paying month to month, I just do one set fee um, and just pay for it up front. So uh, if you want to learn more about that, there is a video on my channel and there's a link down below. So you can check that out. It's a referral link. So if you click on it, I do get credit for um, you clicking on that link. So I would appreciate it if you use the link, but check out the video first and just see if it's right for you because, um, you want to make sure that I waited a long time to get it <laughs> and I wish I would have gotten it sooner now, but I was just like sticker shock, like, no way I'm not paying that. And now I'm like, why wasn't I paying that? Because I'm making so much more money now on certain items. Okay. Let's talk about this. This is a vintage 1998 Briarberry collection Fisher Price school set. 
And Briarberry are these bears. And this is just a little outfit and playset stuff that comes, accessories that come with it. Super cute item. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar with some other ones. Super excited to find these. Anything new old stock that's a toy or just new old stock in general, I'll pick those items up because somebody is going to be looking for them. And if it's new in a sealed package, you're going to get more money for it. This ended up selling for $37. The buyer was all in for $46.69. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Not a ton of super high dollar items in this video, but if you look at what I'm paying for my items, my cost of goods compared to what I'm selling it for, the margins are just so good. And one trick that I have is when I go to garage sales, I bundle, I make a pile. <laughs> um, but what that also leads to is a hoard of inventory. I have uh, over here, I'm not going to show you a huge mountain of inventory that, um, you know, I'll pick some stuff out, I'll list it. And then I buy something else and I want to list that. And it just kind of gets shoved to the side. Do you have a money pile? <laughs> A money mountain, raise your hand. Um, I think there's an emoji of raising your hand. You can put that down in the comments. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, let me know in the comments how you found the channel. And there's going to be some other videos popping up. If you're new or been here a while, check out one of those videos and a subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.